Hi, I'm Don Galloway with Dunker Motor. We are introducing the Dunker Motorin Linear Motor Systems. This is a high-speed linear motor. It is utilizing a magnet rod, which uh, offsets all the forces in the linear motor, uh, giving us high speeds. We have an SM module, which has capability of speeds up to 250 inches per second. Uh, we also then have an XCR, which is our rigid actuator, which has capabilities up to 200 inches per second. The positioning repeatability is 12 microns, so a sheet of paper is 100 micron, 350 micron accuracy. Currently this system is only running at, at 115 volts, so we're uh, at about a third of the speed that it's capable of running. The motors are IP65, we can also do an IP67. We are also able to supply the actuator in an IP69K hygienic version uh, that is also water-cooled, which would give us about twice the amount of force. Uh, and they all have the same uh, 12 micron repeatability, 350 micron accuracy. The, the motors are utilizing a sine-cosine, one volt peak-to-peak, for the feedback that is going back to the drive. Uh, there are, are many manufacturers of drives that have this type of feedback capability. Basically with a linear motor like this compared to a ball screw which is limited to high speeds or then using a belt drive that has uh, less rigidity, the servo tube uh, takes care of those two functions. We will replace in a lot of applications, systems that were in the past driven with pneumatics. Pneumatics have a, a tendency of not being able to position very well and end up with a lot of air waste, whereas this is a very efficient system which utilizes the capability of positioning, speed and torque control. In the Z axis, we are able to also add a brake to the system so that uh, it does not you know, support the load in case of a power outage. Typical applications are pick and place like you see here, uh, following along in a conveyor, XY applications where you need higher speeds um, and more throughput in your machine. The Z axis is actually programmed so that it would place the puck, utilize a program called ThrustCalc, which is a sizing software that we're able to enter all your uh, application notes or application parameters and give it a final output so that way we're able to figure out what is the correct servo tube uh, that we have. They come in three different uh, rod sizes. We have an 11 millimeter, a 25 millimeter, and a 38 millimeter. And then the forcers come in different stack lengths. So depending upon your requirement, we'll either go from a four stack to a six stack to an eight stack to a 10 stack, depending upon your application.